The Southside Community Arts Center opened their doors to me that I do a show, my first in Chicago, which I called God's Mind, and I comprehensively presented my views uh, from all my life work in philosophy. I use art as a means to make my ideas tangible so that they might Im influence and, and shape a culture of learning forever, growing forever, living forever, here and now. Uh, people say that my art uh, impacts them emotionally. I seek the brightest colors and, and uh, harmony amongst them. I love uh, empathy for people, their face and their figure, and uh, developing dramatic ideas and using all media, um, whatever simplest. It could be a drop cloth canvas, uh, acrylic paints, oil pastels, uh, sculptural shapes. And I, I present challenging ideas. In this show, it was the idea that God doesn't have to be good. Life doesn't have to be fair, which is certainly what we know from Inglewood. I have lived with a good friend there, David Ellison Bay, of the Moorish Cultural Workshop. And, uh, and I know oh, the tragedy uh, and the inspiration of, of people like him, Renaissance people, and like Jean Carter Hill of Imagine Inglewood If. And so I'd, I'd really like to impact the neighborhood with uh, learning canvases, uh, learning games that would uh, encourage people to engage each other. Because art can change our expectations of what the rules are and art can allow us to interact and integrate with each other, rich and poor, you know, good kid and bad kid, uh, man and woman, young and old. And so uh, that's, uh, that's exciting for me to think, what could be a whole new world? I was uh, discovered by an artist neighborhood in Lithuania that had declared independence, the Republic of Užapis. They let me do my first shows. And so I'm excited to foster uh, youth who might create their own uh, deep uh, ideas, first of all, and then express them in art. So it could be a chess set of a certain kind, it could be a multiplication table, it could be a phonics system, it could be a history timeline or a biology map or a map of the neighborhood. But something that would create a theatrical element, uh, an element of play and of game, uh, to learn how to make these, make sets of these, and if there was a hundred of them in the na neighborhood, I think it would turn everything around. But let's start with 20. That's my proposal. That's my dream.